so if uh, say you know when the going is good when the runs are coming you confident and you sometimes you feel that uh, you know even if you're making mistakes things go your way you know when yeah. the going is good it's when you know you realize you putting in the effort you're doing all the hard work but you know it 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 could be luck because you know for a batsman it's just one one good delivery you know that you misread so when when the chips are down you know when and and this has happened to all cricketers you you know no cricketer is can go back and say that you know in my entire career i was always scoring runs you know so that's yeah. there for legends like uh, uh, mr dravid and mr tendulkar as well so uh, you know what is that uh, one go to mantra for for you rahul that when the chips are down do you call a friend do you call a mentor do you call your coach so who is this one person that you know you really look forward to uh, you know chatting and feeling that okay you know if i talk to him uh, it will help me um i think for me i i mean i do go back to my coaches there are friends that i speak mm-hmm. to but uh, i have always been a very balanced person since since i was you know uh, mm-hmm. really young and mm-hmm. now i've become even even more balanced so i can i can uh, look at myself in the mirror and and you know i can evaluate myself if something is going wrong and if i sit back and think and if i find an answer as to what is going wrong then mm-hmm. i don't really go and talk to uh, okay. somebody else because i feel like everybody has an opinion uh mm-hmm. instead of going and asking somebody else's opinion you mm-hmm. you yourself deep within you have the answer the best answer for yourself so okay. if if i can do that if i can achieve that then then i'm okay i won't i won't talk to anybody i will probably mm-hmm. um switch off a little bit you know uh, take mm-hmm. a do uh, take two or three days away from cricket not practice not touch the bat just you know just mm-hmm. enjoy and um just not think about the game too much uh, yeah. but if there is a time where you know um i don't know why i'm not scoring runs i don't know what is happening then mm-hmm. then yes then i i do speak to coaches i do speak to my fellow players like you said everybody <laughs> has everybody has gone through uh uh yeah, yeah, been patches in their career so uh, you know wherever i am you know i speak to i speak to my fellow players and see what they did and uh, mm-hmm. talk to them about their experiences and the, and the more you talk to players um, or coaches or in general you 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 the best thing that comes out is that you know even they have gone through the even they felt yes. the same yeah. doubts they have gone yeah. through the same insecurities so that in a way calms you down saying you're not the only person going through this there are people who have gone through it there will be people after you who will go through it so how yeah. what is the best best thing for you to do uh, you know in the next next game what is the approach you can have in the next yeah. game instead of worrying about three or four innings that have gone Mm-hmm. like okay you know what mistakes you've done in those three four games you sit and say okay i i hurried a little bit or you know i was too yeah, tentative right. but you you know there are only four or five things you can do wrong uh, absolutely you know what it is and then you go back yeah. and and try and try and uh, correct those mistakes at training i always believe that if you train well training is mm-hmm. an extension of your match you know whatever you do in training training is where mm-hmm. you know I, I, that is what i've learned last 3 4 years is that in training yeah. you try and bring that intensity yes. you know as yes. a young young player i remember a lot of senior players and um, mm-hmm. you know rahul dravid also all of them saying try and try and um, you know uh, visualize that in a at practice you're playing playing a game visualize a bowler mm-hmm. bowling at you have your own uh, field set that time you didn't understand what it means but as you grow you realize that you know you you train yourself at training and then mm-hmm. when you go to the game it is just an extension of what you've been doing okay. so in yeah. training if you if you're playing properly your footwork is right yeah. going yeah. towards your uh, mm-hmm. you're playing late whatever little things that you know there will be four or five points as each player mm-hmm. have for themselves for mm-hmm. me it will be you know playing close to the body my footwork yeah. Uh, yeah. my initial movement um, all mm-hmm. these things there are four five points for everybody for somebody else it might be something else so all those things you try and try and do it correctly in training so once you go to the game these basic mm-hmm. things happen automatically and yeah. you're not thinking about those things you're rather in the match you're thinking okay this bowler is doing this 
this is where yes. i can score runs this is where i can be careful this is where i'll have to um, you know respect him this is where i attack him so where, then you get into that mindset and that is the best mindset for a batsman to be in yeah. so we what what we've seen you know uh, uh, in the last couple of years there are uh, wicket keepers who've become captain in the ipl so uh, why why is that uh, growing is there an advantage of being behind the stumps and it's it's a uh, it's a phenomena which is growing you know so uh, yeah. why do you think that's yeah. the case yeah. i uh, i don't know it's not, I, i will not say that only wicket keepers will make really good captains but as a mm-hmm. wicket keeper you you have a 360 view of what's happening you're so close mm-hmm. to the um, yeah. you're the closest to the uh, to the pitch you know exactly what the, how the pitch is behaving or how a particular bowler is bowling so you can mm-hmm. even if you're not a even if you're not a captain you can you can go yeah. up to the captain like yeah. what i've done while a wicket keeping for india i always go up to uh, virat and tell him you know uh, we, we can do this we can try this this is what yeah. is working yeah. so with the field yeah. sets you can ma- yeah. you can control the angles a little bit so i think that way it it, it helps whereas if you're if you're in the outfield you're running around yourself so you might miss a thing or two here we could keeping as this you know you're not running too much you're just in a stationary place so you you have a better view of everything and a better understanding so um yeah i think uh a uh, a uh, a smart wicket keeper is smart wicket keeper who understands the game really well is very very key for any team to to be successful if you look at the track record as well um every 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 champion team has always had a wicket keeper who is who's a very very good player himself but also has a great yes. understanding of the game so he helps the the captain and the vice captain a little bit okay and uh, you know now when we see the indian cricket team and uh, how uh, virat has changed you know he's the benchmark for fitness so fitness obviously we know you know it's it's really important so for for you you know when you are playing a tournament or when you are uh, say just training like you said you know training is really important you take your training very seriously because that's the time when you are probably working on areas that you need to improve Yeah. so what's the difference in your fitness regime when you're playing a tournament when you are say uh, just training or when you're in a bio bubble so how does that differ you know what are the things that you do uh, in these three uh, phases um i think see, fitness yeah like you 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 put it perfectly i think uh, the the new age uh, india is is a fit yes. india is a strong india yes. who, who yes. you know um, we we all uh, growing up realize the importance of fitness and we yeah. you know the under 15 boys even back at home in in our state cricket i see uh, the under 15 boys in the gym yeah. training um, yeah. you know it's it's become uh, it become need of the hour you need fit strong yeah. and agile yeah. players on the field um fitness like i said the mental mental strength is 50% fitness is also you know I, i you know if you if you take skill if i said 50% is skill in that 50% there will be 30% skill, uh, fitness fitness is also skill wow. right now wow. with with yeah. how yeah. t20 cricket is going with how uh, yeah. Yeah. cricket is evolving you need to be you need yeah. everybody needs to be strong and fit and fast because the game is so yeah. fast and, yeah. Yeah. yeah so uh, all of that so i do i mean when since we play so much so much cricket uh uh are are um after the series we have a couple of weeks or three weeks of break uh mm-hmm. i don't really practice that much because i know i've already practiced and once i join the team again uh three or four days of good practice will will be good enough for me to get my touch and my rhythm so i use those th- i use those two three weeks for for firstly to rest for a few days for three or four days yeah. and completely uh, shut off mm-hmm. since you've come from uh, from a long series and and yeah. and then you rest for three or four days and then you start training and those next uh, 15 20 days will be uh, really hard sessions of training so uh, mm-hmm. my off season is when i try and try and do most of my uh, gym work my running all the heavy mm-hmm. sessions where i build my body and make it strong enough to last the next series yeah. 
so that is where i work hard and then once i and once i once we come and join the team then it becomes a lot more about skill you you, you focus yeah. a lot yeah. more on your practice sessions your fielding sessions uh, mm-hmm. your recovery all those things become mm-hmm. more important and uh, you know going to the gym or running becomes takes yeah. a slight uh, step back because uh, you know you're playing continuously you want to you want to rest as well you want to be in a good frame of mind uh, to play mm-hmm. the game and if you have enough break then you try and squeeze in uh, one or two yeah. sessions of uh, uh, gym mm-hmm. or running session just to keep yourself going and keep yourself fit uh and bio bubble again i think uh, like i said you're yeah. all by yourself there's hardly anything you can do so it's it, more often than not it becomes about training you try and get one session or two sessions uh <laughs> easily because you have so much uh so much time for yourself okay so uh, you know if we talk about international cricket you have uh... t20 you have odis obviously the world cup is really important and then test cricket so uh, and we've seen that you know the uh, we've got more uh, white ball cricket happening now you know and uh, yes there is uh, there is this world test championship and uh, you know that's that's made uh, that's got the excitement back but for the current generation of cricketers how uh, important is uh, test match cricket and test match cricket records um, i don't i mean records is not something i i i played for or i would um, encourage younger players to play for uh, but test cricket definitely is is the heart and soul of of the of the game that is what has made the game so um, that is where you are truly tested as a as a player and as an individual uh mm-hmm. you know your mental strength your physical strength mm-hmm. your discipline your dedication everything is tested in test cricket and that is why uh all of us who play test cricket love it so much and mm-hmm. uh, you know we are, we try to encourage the newer generation to start yes. with test cricket i am i am of a strong belief that you know uh the youngsters should only be exposed to t20 cricket once they Uh, 18 and 18 and over, or once once they finish under 17. So that you you need to um, grow playing Test cricket and days game because that builds your basics. You become your basics are strong. Once your basics are strong, as you grow physically stronger, mm-hmm. T20 is just an extension of of yeah. you know all of those things. Once your basics are strong, but if you you know so only playing it's it's always it was it's always difficult to make the switch the other way to be a one day or t20 player and then to become a test player is is more difficult yeah. than i feel again this is my personal opinion yes. um, yeah 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 uh, you know if than to be someone who has a very strong basic you know who who's who mm-hmm. understands the game really well for them to uh, come out of test cricket and and become a good white ball cricketer is a lot more easier and that's my personal yes. opinion because that is what yeah. personally i have gone through because yeah. even me you you yeah. you know till 19 and 20 i was uh, i was nowhere um, in the reckoning for any white ball uh, yeah. cricket i was yes. a solid uh, test match player and um, uh, you know uh, that's where you made your debut the- as well yeah Mm-hmm. yeah that's what i my coaches and you know i guess even for our generation that time i think uh, till 7 when only when we were 17 and 18 or like 15 16 t20 cricket started yeah. till then we were all focused on playing test match cricket you know test the ball defense and all these things yes. we were paying attention to our our basics and once t20 mm-hmm. cricket came in and it evolved we evolved okay. with with time yes. because our yeah. basics yeah. were so strong then From 2021, I got physically stronger, so it was the same thing, same cover drive that I play along. I used to play along the ground, which was my strength. Then once I got yeah. physically stronger, it was just hitting the ball in the yes. air, and it it started going going for six. And then you understand how to um, pace your innings in T20 and in in one day cricket. Um, when you play Test cricket and when you're successful in 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 days cricket with red ball cricket. Mm-hmm. that is what you you understand how to how to pace your innings how to how to play the situation uh, yeah. how to get through difficult times how to capitalize on 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 the phase when the opposition is down 
so all these things is 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 key to learn for for youngsters and then you become a really good player overall for me that is that is always my aim to be a all condition player and you know all format player uh, i never wanted to be just one format but since i was very good at one format growing up yeah Yeah, yeah. Uh, the other things just uh, fell in place, and you know, I could, yeah. I could, I could find a way to uh, score runs in in uh, wide ball cricket as well. Take take care of yourself, and all the thank best. You. And thank, thank you. you very much once again. Thank, thank you, Parvez.